Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs, and today I have this stunning red and white Christmas card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So to start, I am going to trim down a piece of cardstock here. This is just a white piece of cardstock. I believe it's an 80-pound Nina, and I just cut off a quarter of an inch on each side. So this is an A2-sized card. And I just cut off about a, about a quarter of an inch um, because I want to put this through an embossing folder. And I wanted here to be a bit of a white border. I really like the white on white look. I think it looks really stunning. But I struggle a little bit to kind of get there. So sometimes it takes me a minute to figure out what I'm trying to aim for with cards like this. But I think this one turned out quite pretty. So I did put it through a 3D embossing folder there with just some snowflakes on the back. And then I'm going to cut out the Winter Build a Birdhouse die set by Spellbinders. Um, I believe this is sold out at the moment. It's so hard to keep this because it, it goes in and out of stock so often that I like I, I tried to put off putting up a video and then it was back in stock and then by the time I get there it's out of stock again. So I just really wanted to share this video with you guys. So it may be out of stock. Uh, you can push the notify me button and it'll, once it comes in you'll get notified. Um, I think these are beautiful die sets. I have uh, all of the bird houses now, but I'm still missing the actual physical birds because they're sold out every time I try to buy them. So I'm hoping to get my hands on the birds, but so far I just have the sets of bird houses. So I did cut out the bird house there in the schoolhouse red by semi stamp card stock, and I'm going to do a little color uh, well, a little shading on it in a little bit. And then I cut out a couple of pieces. Some are from the winter bird set. Some are from the summer bird set. Um, the post that I'm going to stick the bird house on is from the summer bird house set. Uh, but the poinsettia and the little like snow is from uh, the winter set. So there's a little bit of mixing and matching kind of going on here. I just really wanted the bird house to sit on um, the little... Uh, posts instead of like um, maybe adding a string or something because I didn't want to introduce any other colors. So I am going to bring in three oxide colors. I have fired brick here which um, is not dark enough <laughs> for kind of what I wanted uh, and then I'm going to move on to uh, aged mahogany in a second because I was hoping that it would be dark enough to kind of do what I was hoping for and it <laughs> it's not dark enough either so in the end I kind of switched to black soot and I use that to darken up the edges. I just wanted it to be darker on the edges just to kind of add some dimension to the die cut and not have it just be plain red. Uh, I think that this really makes it stand out and pop quite a bit more on the white background, but you could absolutely leave it red and it would be just as stunning. This is just something I did to add some dimension to uh, my project because it's pretty flat. I have a tendency to mail a lot of this stuff out to like pen pals and friends and stuff, so and try to keep everything as flat as possible. And I did cut um, the poinsettias out of the red cardstock, the white cardstock, and a pearl glitter cardstock, uh, just to add some variation in the colors. And then I just adhered the embossed panel just straight down onto the card base. I am gonna bring in some 3D foam squares here in a minute, just to add some depth and dimension to the project, but um, mostly everything is flat. Uh, I kind of added a little bit of dimension in a couple of areas, but that's about it. And you will see me play with the uh, layout a little bit here, but I kind of, this is what I came up with. And I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, I don't know, like, I, this is a bit newer to me. I generally don't do a lot of die cuts in my cards. So I would love to know what you think of how this card came together. I kind of think that it, uh, it turned out really pretty. And it's kind of a very uh, traditional color palette for a Christmas card. So I thought that that was quite nice. But yeah, so I'm just using the glitter card stock as kind of like snow. Uh, so I added it to the top of the post here there's a little piece that's cut out that you can just add there's like an indent where to put it so I added that to the post that uh, the little birdhouse is going to sit on and then I also cut out the two pieces that are going to adhere to the roof of my little birdhouse and then those will be also like the, their snow I also cut some of the poinsettias out in the glitter cardstock just because if you guys have seen my channel for a minute or two you know how much I love bling on all the things so I couldn't really uh, resist cutting out some of those points that he has in the glitter cardstock as well. This is just for me. You could absolutely not put in glitter cardstock. It's really just your preference. It's just that I happen to love all things that are shiny. So I have a tendency towards that. But by all means, you could add less bling to this card and I think it would be just as stunning. So completely up to you. This is just the way that I kind of roll. 
And I am going to add some thin 3D foam squares to the back of the bird house when I go to put it there. Um, I'm just kind of playing with the design and trying to figure out how I want to have it adhered. I did opt to leave the little piece of the house kind of standing off of the card. Um, I'll probably have to trim that off when I actually go to mail it. But I did do that to start with. I couldn't bring myself to cut it. Uh, I probably should because of course it hangs off. But And then here I'm just adding a little bit of dimension to the points ideas. Again, I don't want them to stand up too high, but I want them to have some curve to them so they're not just flat. Uh, this isn't necessary. Again, this is just because I wanted to add a little bit more dimension. And I did bring in the same um, black soot foam blending tool on those little red points that he has just to add a little extra color and then here you see this one broke not a big deal I glue the leaf back on uh, and it, it looks perfectly fine I don't even think later you can tell that it broke off but yeah I just I adhered it back on like here it's already back on and you I don't even think you can tell that it fell off uh, I'm I'm not one for wasting things once they're kind of in going in the direction that I want them to go I just I'd hear them back on and move on with my day <laughs> I'm I don't like to waste things so I just I adhered down the uh, post that's standing on flat there and then I am going to pop up the birdhouse so that it has some extra dimension. I just have the thin 3D foam squares. I like the thin ones just because I find that it adds such a small amount of dimension. I want dimension but I don't want it to add bulk so that when I go to try to mail it it's going to cost me more money, right? So I'm kind of like to be uh, on the thin side of the foam squares and that's kind of just my preference here. But again, you could put it flat and it would be beautiful. Just use what you have. Um, I think that there's no wrong way to uh, make a card and I think that it would still turn out stunning. The one thing that I do notice every Every time I look at this card is the heart is a bit askew now not a big deal however you can tell now that I've said it can you notice like the heart's just off by a smidge and it is just because the die turned a little bit when I taped it down not a big deal not even really that noticeable it's not a glaring issue it's just that I when I'm looking at this I'm like that that looks wrong but it, again it doesn't matter uh, I think that it's still pretty with a little heart door in it so I mean you could if you were worried about it you could adhere the heart back in and then it would be really hard to notice uh, but honestly I don't really mind and I just kind of uh, matched up each one of the uh, points that he has with a different color so like you have a white one and a glitter one a red one and a glitter one and then a red one and a white one and then I'm just gonna uh, glue them together in the center so that they have the two sets of leaves you could add more than two I chose to do two because I thought they were pretty and I did three points that he has because I like uneven numbers especially in my embellishments um, I find that they're usually a lot more eye-catching that way so that's kind of my rule of thumb for embellishments. And then here I'm going to adhere down. So I'm going to put one at the top and then two on the bottom. And the bottom, the white one in the middle is going to be propped up with a 3D foam square uh, just to add a little bit of dimension to it again. So it's kind of is half on the post, half on the um, birdhouse, but the little bit of foam square just kind of gives it a little bit of extra um, dimension that kind of helps it stand out a bit and it's bright white on red because um, that's the white and glitter cardstock one so I think that it this turned out really pretty I'd love to know what you guys think I did struggle <clears throat> excuse me a bit with my sentiment um, I'm going to show it here in a second I'm going to stamp it out but I, I, I was looking at this card and it, it honestly took me a while to decide what I was going to do for a sentiment and I really I struggled a bit because I wasn't sure I even wanted to add anything and then if I added it where did I want to put it so it was a bit of an issue for me here I'm just fluffing up the leaves on the points idea a little bit and then I brought in the same schoolhouse red codge sock because I really wanted it to match now this is the stamp set that's designed by Vicky Papineau who is the one who designed all of these birdhouses as well this is the stamp set that was coordinating for this set. Um, and I stamped out the Christmas one. Well, the holiday one. I, it doesn't necessarily need to be Christmas, although it, it reads fairly Christmas. It says wishing you a fun holiday season. Um, so I interpreted that as a fairly Christmas. And then I'm just going to white heat emboss it on that red cardstock to keep with my red and white uh, theme here. So and then I'm going to cut it out in kind of uh, like a label. I'm not going to show it to you because I just cut it out. And then I'm going to uh, cut like a little f banner end to it, um, which is just a center cut and then cutting in from both sides to kind of create a bit of a banner esque end and then I'm going to bring in the same black soot to uh, darken up the edges uh, and this is just what's left on my foam tool. I don't grab any extra ink because I don't want to, it to go in super far and I my 
black soda is quite juicy. I just re-inked it not very long ago. So I'm trying to be careful about how much I end up adding to everything. But and then I'm just going to put it in the bottom corner there. But honestly, I did struggle with this a bit. So you're going to see that we're going to put in gems before I even stick it down because I wasn't sure if I liked the sentiment, if I wanted it there, if I wanted it to be like stamped in a red ink and then on a white card. So like I struggled a bit with the sentiment. Um, but in the end, I did opt to go with this option. Um, I think that it turned out really pretty. I'd love to know what you guys think or would you have changed the sentiment or would you, what would you have changed about it if you would have changed something? Um, I'd love to know. And then I just added a couple of little gems to the center of the points that he has just for a little added bling and like shine just because that's how I roll. And I did opt to um, lift this up a little bit. These again are the same 3D dimensionals the thin 3D uh, 3D squares um, and everything I use is linked and listed down below if you ever are curious but if you have any questions or any comments or any thoughts please uh, write a comment let me know I read all of my comments sometimes it takes me a little bit to answer because I can work a lot but uh, I would love to know if you have any thoughts or comments or, or want to share anything with me um, I would greatly appreciate it I'd love to know what you guys are thinking so I see here I'm like do I cut it off I, and I didn't in the end but I, I might when I put it in an envelope but for this I didn't trim it off I just left it there but here is a look at this card up close i hope you guys enjoyed it i'd love to know what you think i'd love if you leave me a like leave me a comment and consider subscribing i do new videos every monday this is my christmas in july series and then i join in hops whenever possible thank you so much guys and i will see you again soon bye bye for now